Hey there, Brendan Bailey with Marine Max here in beautiful Fort Myers, Florida, and we are coming to you on this brand new Aviara 32. It's a 2023 model with twin 300s, uh, joystick piloting option on this boat as well, so you get all the cool bells and whistles like the skyhook and all that with this boat. Uh, very nicely equipped and available right now too. Uh, first thing you'll notice on this uh, swim platform area is the uh, very cool contemporary styling of the sea deck. Uh, not your traditional uh, faux teak look, but a much cooler design that, uh, that Aviar has become known for. So lots of area back here to kind of lounge around. Obviously your swim ladder in the back. And as everybody's seen with Aviar probably already, or has become known uh, for, is this swim or this uh, sun pad that can be transformed to however you want to use it for the situation that you're in at that minute. So whether you just want to sit on the back of the boat and watch a sunset, this is a great spot to do it, or you want to lay it flat so you can lay back and just get some sun, whether it's from beam to beam, from side to side, or if you want to just kind of be able to lounge, maybe have a few drinks on the back of the boat while your friends are playing in the water, adjust this to whichever height you want, and that can all be done right here by adjusting the hydraulic seat back. So as we step through the walkthrough, this area through here is actually uh, fender storage. Great, uh, great use of space. Instead of storing fenders and mooring equipment underneath seating where you could put your own beach bags and towels, it's stored in this area here, which you don't commonly use. So now as we step into the cockpit, nice L-shaped seating. We'll seat a ton of people. Layback seat here that you can sit and watch the wake on your run out to the beach. Wet bar area directly across from where everybody's sitting and hanging out. Got a nice sink bottle holders over here this little tray area great spot to be able to throw your glasses and suntan lotions and that kind of stuff or it's easily accessible for everybody on the boat don't have to dig into your beach bags and down into your storage underneath here is a big storage area great place to put another yeti if you want to put a big yeti cooler under there or when people get on the boat throw your beach bags flip flop shoes that kind of stuff in there a very nice aviara cooler that's here on this concealed uh, drawer Kind of keeps your drinks and everything hidden away, not taking up any floor space. And again, additional places to put coolers if you wanted to underneath seats. So we step into the helm. Again, nice, clean, minimalistic helm, digital switching. You do have some redundancy for switching uh, for some analog switches for your most important items like safety items, lights, blowers, uh, bilge pumps, and horn. But everything is run through here, all your stereo systems and lighting uh, that you can change colors on, that kind of stuff is all done through here. Simrad GPS, fish finder, depth finder through here, and Mercury vessel view as well. And then we briefly talked about the JPO, the, the uh, joystick piloting option that's on this boat. That's all run right here uh, through the joystick controls and Mercury's brand new control box as well. So let's step forward into the bow area. This is a really versatile bow as well. If you think about being able to be on a little cruise, maybe you're just going down the river, or you're cruising down the beach and you wanna be able to just kind of sit and have a conversation. You've got the ability to do that right here with people being able to sit all the way around, or maybe it's time to lounge as you're cruising. Another great spot to be able to hang out up here. I'm six foot five. I've got a lot of uh, back support so you can tell how deep this bow area is. You feel super safe and secure in here, even in rougher seas. But then naturally uh, located these bolsters here. So my arms fall where they need to fall and they're comfortable. They're not real high, they're not real low. And then a great grab rail that's naturally just kind of falls right where my hand is. So as you see, this bow area is very, very comfortable depending on how you want to use it. And again, six foot five, as I walk through, look at the uh, gunnels here are very high, very secure. It's just a safe feeling boat uh, with a very, very edgy style lines, which you'll see in the pictures uh, that are in this listing as well. Let's step here into the head. I think you'll be impressed with a 32 foot boat. They have a nice head design, super clean, easy to, easy to keep looking good. Great spot to be able to store your gear too. So I'm Brendan Bailey with Marine Max here in Fort Myers, Florida. Give us a call and jump aboard this 32 Aviara. I think you'll be impressed with not only the ride, but also the styling and the build quality of the boat. So give us a call here at Marine Max in Fort Myers and thanks for watching this video.